In this exercise tutorial, I'm gonna be taking you through how to do a barbell backwards lunge, and we're gonna be doing this on a squat rack with alternating repetitions. So firstly, what does alternating repetitions mean? Well, once you've got the bar on your back, you're gonna do one repetition on one side, and then do the next repetition on the next leg. So you're alternating between both legs with each repetition. Now, I'm gonna be using this squat rack so firstly, if you've never used one of these before, it's an incredibly intimidating bit of kit. So firstly, how on earth do you know how to set it up? Now, firstly for me, you've got these little lips here on each side. First, you wanna make sure they're in line with each other, so you've not got one higher than the other. And in terms of how I would set this up, is I wanna make sure this lip is just below the position of my shoulder. Because once the barbell's on my back, I'm gonna to have to lift the barbell slightly up to bring it out. I don't wanna be having this too high or I have to come onto my tiptoes, especially with any type of heavy weight. You wanna make sure that it is just below the position of the top of your shoulder. That's a nice start point. You can always move it up and down from there, but that's a nice point to just get started with the exercise. So this is already set up for me on both these catches here. I'm now gonna bring the barbell onto the catches. Because I'm using a squat rack here, I've got to use a specific barbell. So this is a seven foot Olympic bar. It's 20 kilograms. And um, why I'm using this, if I use the smaller bar, what I don't want to happen is I don't want to, one, not be able to fit the bar into the rack, or alternatively, I don't want to come in and be in a position where the bar, when I come out, is going to fall off. So use one of these seven foot barbells, but do bear in mind that they are um, 20 kilograms, so make sure that you work up to that with dumbbells, 10 kilograms in each hand before you do this. Now, what I want you to imagine is I'm gonna come underneath the barbell, I'm gonna have the barbell on my back, so it's not gonna be on my neck, it's not gonna be where my hood is here, it's gonna be underneath and it's gonna be right there, it's gonna be in a position where it's just above the position of my scapula. So what does that mean? Well, bring your hands behind your back, Find that bony point of your shoulder right at the top of your shoulder blade and just above that, that fleshy trapezius muscle you can feel above it, that is where this barbell is gonna go. It's not gonna go on your neck. So I'm gonna come underneath. In terms of hand position, for people with poor shoulder mobility, they're gonna go wider. For people that are taller, they're gonna go wider. Some people like to have a nice locked in grip where they're nice and short, they're really close to the barbell. Other people like to have a wider grip. It is a little bit of personal preference. So I'm gonna show you more of a narrower grip where I can really lock in the barbell. So I'm gonna come underneath the barbell. I'm in a position where I'm just above my scapula. I bring my hands in, I lock the bar in. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually pulling my shoulder blades down that's gonna stop this bar from going topsy-turvy and going from side to side as I do my repetitions. I'm locking the bar down, squeezing my shoulder blades back and down. From here, I take one little step out. I've got my chest up. I'm gonna bring one leg directly behind my body, come down with the back knee, hover off the floor, and then back to my start position. Next leg, down, back up. And I'm repeating this for my desired amount of sets and repetitions, keeping my chest up at all times. Once you're done, walk the barbell in and place it down. So you would do that for your exact amount of reps and sets. Same on each side, so if you do eight reps on one side, do exactly the same on the other, 